Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another goal making video. Now, this video, I'm going to be going over the TSM profile and groups that I've been using for the past two months, and just kind of how I organize things and how I, you know, set up my groups, set up my operations, how I post and cancel scan, and all of that. And this video is also serving as an announcement for my free TSM profile, which I'm launching to all of you. If you guys have been a part of the Discord, I've been talking about it recently, about how it's going to be released soon. And so you guys will be seeing this on Thursday. It's currently Tuesday right now. So you guys will have access to this whenever you're seeing this video. But this is going to be kind of just showing you exactly what the group does, how you can mess with it, and just making sure you can make the most out of this TSM profile. But just for some background, I've been using this exact thing for the past like two months, like I said, as well as my Twitch subscribers, as well as my Patreons. So not only me, but a few others have also given me feedback and we've adjusted everything. And if you guys watch my live streams or see any profits, anything within like my past few videos for the like past two months, all of this has been used by posting with this exact profile. So I wanted to give something to y'all that I would definitely use myself. So this is something that I think is really nice, whether you're a complete beginner, it's your first day with TSM, or you've been using it for five years. I highly recommend looking at this if you are, you know, looking for TSM profiles. But we're going to get right into it. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy. So this TSM profile right here, as you can see, Whenever you guys download it, which I will talk about in a little bit, but you guys are going to be able to import it into your game and you will be basically greeted with like this penguin category. So this profile is mainly focused on Shadowlands. So there's not a lot of old world content besides the few things that I've already had available to my Discord members and to people who have watched my videos. So I have included some old world items, but mostly this is a Shadowlands and this is what I use to post my Shadowlands stuff. So if you're looking for something with a bunch of old world, you probably would not want to use this. But in terms of organization, I have basically broken it down into five categories. Um, one of them is strictly just materials from Shadowlands. If we expand this, as you can see, it's just, you know, leather, fish, essences, enchantment materials, cloth, all of those materials that you would need. Then we have like the vendor materials down here. Basically, you know, you can run a shopping scan of this if you're looking for stuff, just having them sorted into a group. I have made a simple materials one right there. Then we also have the crafters marks group, which if you guys have seen my previous crafters marks video, this is basically that group just imported into this profile. So you can also have the crafters marks stuff. Nothing has super changed. I've kind of organized it a little bit better, but this is simply just all the different types of crafters marks. Then same goes with legendaries. We have these broken down by, you know, type. And then we also have the rank one through fours. Then we have the rank fives and sixes. So simple, legendaries, all of that. Then we have the old world category, which I've kind of added a few of this stuff, um, like I said previously. So I made sure to include my old world enchants. So if you guys are familiar with that, this is the exact same group that's available, the standalone group. So it's just imported into here to save you time, you know? So we do have the old world enchanting, as you can see. Then we also have some like ores and bars. This is a very classic flip, you know, turning ores into bars. So we also have that group. Then I also added mounts because on my Shadowlands character, I also post my mounts just to keep track of them. So I included them in this list as well. So we just have the different types mostly focusing on the craftable ones, but I included everything just in case you're looking for anything else. Then this is just old world tailoring, which really it's just bags. So I included the few bags that I think are selling the most right now. So we just have deep sea, the two of the cataclysm bags, and then we also have the silk weave satchel. All four of these I've made very good profit with. So I just wanted to include it for everybody. 
And lastly, we also have some toys, kind of like the mounts. Wanted to just have this for y'all if you're trying to do some flipping. So we have the crafted stuff, farmed, fish stuff, and then also the vendor toys as well. So that's kind of the old world and all the random stuff. The big group that you will be looking at the most and what I put the most detail in is the Shadowlands group. So basically it is just broken down by profession and then depending on the profession, it might be broken down a little bit more as well. So if we take a look at alchemy, as you can see, we have the cosmetic item, the flasks, the oils, and then we also have like the potions, which are also broken down even more. So it's kind of self-explanatory. It's basically just everything in the game up to 9.1. So we got the feast, large meals, light meals, soul food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's nothing super special about the groups themselves. I've organized them how I like them. Of course, you can adjust anything you like, but really it's just a simple breakdown by profession and also by expansion, really. But the interesting stuff that we're going to be looking at is the operations because I want to make sure that if you guys are using this for yourself, you're able to adjust anything necessary. Now, the disclaimer that I do want to put out is, like I said at the beginning of this video, this group is meant for everybody. And because of that, I want to make sure that it is understandable to everybody. So if you are trying to look for those groups with like the 99.9% .9 optimized with like the paragraph long, you know, min price, max price, normal price, you're not going to see this here. I, first of all, think a lot of that stuff is unnecessary most of the time. And especially for the new people, like that's just, there's no point in having that when you're starting out or even having that, you know, all the time for every single item. So I've just tried to make this as simple yet efficient as possible. A lot of this is gonna be just simple, you know, DB market or crafting that you're gonna see. Once again, I've been using this for two months and it's been working perfectly for me. So of course you can adjust it if you want, but this is what I think is best for everybody. But of course it's up for whatever you need to change. So the type of groups that you're gonna see First of all, you're going to have the crafters marks group, which is going to be the same as the previous ones, but everything that's labeled, you know, crafters is what you're going to see. So we have the blue crafters, which is basically just the blue eye level 87 gear. So it's very, very basic. I post these for 12 hours a piece. Most of this stuff, because it's Shadowlands, I only post for 12 hours to save on, you know, the posting cost. And then just a very simple min price, normal price, max price. So all of these are set to match their current um, marks. So the 9.1 stuff is for, you know, the new stuff, the Chained Isle, as well as the Mark III. Then you also have the other novice set of green gear as well. But that is what those three first ones are for. And then now we are going into the main type of operations. So I have named these in a very specific way to make sure that you understand exactly what's going on. And what you're gonna see is basically this first thing is going to be the posting time. So for all of these, they're basically set to 12 hours besides the bottom one, which is set to 24 hours. So that first variable is going to be the posting time. Then the second variable is going to be the minimum price um, percentage. So if we take a look at this one, as you can see, posted for 12 hours and minimum price is at the 115% mark. And then lastly, this last number is going to be how many you're posting, aka the post cap. So for this one, for example, right here, I would be posting 11 of these items at 12 hours each for 115% crafting. So this is what this is showing. For this one right here, I am posting 200 for 12 hours each for 115% crafting minimum price as well. So that's kind of how these main ones are set up. Of course, if you adjust any of these settings, you can rename this to whatever you want. But this is kind of the basics of how this operations and these auctions are posted. So taking a look at this one. This right here is for deep sea bags or just any bags in general. 
The reason why I went with 11 is normally if somebody's buying like in bulk for a new alt, they will have to buy bags for themselves for their inventory, as well as bags for their bank, which means they would be buying 11. So I've just been posting 11 at the time, especially for like the older world stuff. But of course you can adjust this to whatever you need. And I am selling them for 115% crafting. And then we have that normal price as well as the maximum price. But as you can see for most of these, I am simply just using crafting. You do not have to get super fancy, you know, as long as that crafting price is showing profit, then it should be good to post. Then we also have the basically same settings, but it's the posting cap of 20. And I have set these to the kind of lesser crazy consumables. So we have like the, you know, like bardings, which is the mount equipment. We have Vantis runes. We have different engineering stuff. We also have enchants. So kind of just making 20 of each of those I have set in this category. Of course, you guys can go under details, look down here to figure out exactly what's in that category for yourself. Then we have the 200 group, which is going to be more of like the potions type of cosmetics. So like I said, we have potions, we have like cooking, so we have feast, we have large meals, we have inscription, so missives, tomes, and then we also have drums as well as the armor kits for leatherworking. So all of the fast pace consumables I have at that 200 mark. Then we have the 50 mark, which I kind of put kind of the middle type of consumables there. So I put like the weapon mods, so like the waystones, etc. I put some of the other meals and then also contracts if you're an inscriptionist. I have set those in the 50 range. Then we have this special group right here. As you can see, some of the variables change. We are only posting one for 12 hours each, but the minimum price is 120% instead of 115%. The reason I did this is because we're kind of focusing on more of the cosmetic stuff, which means it does not sell as fast. And we're also talking about the craftable mounts, which can get very expensive in terms of material price. So because of that, I just want to make a little bit more money, you know, bang for my buck. So I have raised that minimum price. So because of that, as you guys can see, it's kind of all of the cosmetic gear from Shadowlands. You have the crafted mounts and you also have some companion stuff from like toys, etc. So I'm only posting one of each, a little bit more profit margin, and that's the basics for that. Then we have this, which is basically the legendary group. The reason why I'm posting it for 24 hours is because legendaries always have a one silver deposit cost. So no matter what it is, it only post for one silver. So because of that, you can post it for a long time, which is why I have it set to 24 hours. Then, of course, we're doing 110% crafting. I dropped it a little bit because right now crafting legendaries can be, you know, some really tight profit margins but this is still profitable at 110%, which is why I put it there. And then of course, we're also posting two of each. Then we have Dark Moon decks, which are unique because Dark Moon decks do not have an actual crafting cost associated with them. So I have used just a standard DB market. If you would like, you could go in here and put in some like hard gold values. So you could put your minimum at like 3K if that's the cheapest you wanna sell it. That's normally what I would do, but for the sake of everybody, I put just the DB market, which is that realm average. Then we have the farmed as well as like the flipping mounts. And so both of these, you guys can look at these mostly the farmed ones you're just posting at DB market because there's no crafting cost. And then for the flipping, I am taking account of your average buy price as well as your DB market. So this is probably the most complicated formula that you're going to see. But basically what this is saying is that if I buy a mount, yes, it has to be within DB market range, but I also want to make sure that, you know, it's 30% profit margin because I don't want to lose out money. You know, if I buy a mount for 5,000 gold, 
that might be half of DB market, but I don't want to sell it, you know, for 3000 gold if it drops even more. So this is taking into account your average buy as well as that DB market price. And then lastly, we also have the old world enchants, which you guys have seen these. These are from these previous groups. Nothing super special about them. Then kind of the same thing. We have the crafting operations. I'm not going to go super in depth with them, but the big things to point out is kind of what these mean. A lot of this stuff, you just have old world enchants, etc. Legendaries, you know, you have the crafters marks, all of those things you've seen before. And then simply we just have restock and kind of like the previous system before, we just use numbers to show what we're doing. So for this one, for example, right here, we are restocking 20 of them for 15% profit crafting. So restocking 20 for 15% crafting profit margin. And this is for, you know, contracts, fantasy runes, etc. So most of this kind of relates back to these ones over here, but most of these are using that 15% besides this one, which is that crafted mounts, which we've moved up to that 20% profit. But you guys can, of course, take a look at this, adjust anything you need. But really, this is how I organize. This is what I've been using for the past two months. I've been making a ton of gold with it, and I hope this helps you guys out as well. I don't have any, like, mailing, shopping, or anything else situated or set up. A lot of that is server-dependent and character-specific. So I don't want you guys, you know, sending all your materials to my character. So... You guys can go in here and make your own mailing operation if you'd like. If you guys have any more questions regarding these operations, then of course, you can take a look at my TSM series. I have TSM series, so if you need stuff about mailing, you need stuff about posting, anything, you can of course check out those videos. And then you can of course ask questions in the comments or in the Discord below. If you guys want this group to yourself, it is available for free in the Discord. There will be a link in the description. So the Discord's free. Just join there. There will be a free tool section, which then, you know, you can actually get this profile for yourself. But thank you guys so much for watching. As you can see, I'm cancel scanning right here just a little bit. Then we can pick up these auctions just to make sure I show you guys that it works. Then we can post these up, and as you can see, you can see those operations that we discussed earlier. Some stuff is below minimum price, and then we can just go through and post them up. But yeah, guys, that's really it. Let me know if you have any more questions down below. I hope you kind of enjoyed. I hope this helps you out a lot, and of course, have a good day.